Okay, so I just got a B on my thesis paper proposal. What did you write your thesis proposal on, Bon? I wrote it about the uh, the beat generation. <laughs> this is not the primary text, but I am going to work this graphic novel. I'm going to work this graphic novel into my master's degree thesis. <laughs> Who were the beats? What was the beat generation? Well, I've watched a few really good videos about that. But I'm just going to sum it up for you. There's three guys who founded the beat generation, the beat poetry and the beat writers. There was um, the famous Jack Kerouac. He was a douchebag. There's Allen Ginsberg. He was a pompous asshole who wrote, wrote a bunch of vulgar shit, vulgar poetry, got his fucking publisher in trouble his publisher had to go to court over the shit that he wrote and I can say shit because it was about a bunch of shit and he even got a, a, a bookstore owner arrested for um, obscenity but they let that guy go because he, he claimed he didn't know what was in the book and then there's Burroughs William S. Burroughs spoiled rich boy so you had Kerouac the pretty boy who's a, a douchebag who left his wife and then he left his then he left his Mexican girlfriend. Then he left his black Native American girlfriend. Got drunk and went on a road for what two weeks or something? Three weeks or something? And wrote. <clears throat> I you know, I, I found out there are two types of writers. Well, there's two types of things that you write. Uh Kerouac. Kerouac, Kerouac would go out and do stuff and then write about it. And I had, I've had a class where I knew a guy. There was a guy in our, our writing class in um, Columbia College who disappeared halfway through the semester because he caught a flight to Hawaii. He just up and caught a flight to Hawaii. That dude's a real writer. He's up. He wrote about being up at night, masturbating, and taking coke. Now, when somebody writes about being up in the morning, masturbating and taking coke, masturbating to pornography and taking coke, you know they did that shit. They ain't making that up. That's one type of writer. That's the Jack Kerouac type type, type of writer. They go out and do stuff and then they write about it. Like um, The Wolf of Wall Street. They say either write something, write something worth reading, like Spider-Man, or... Do something worth writing about. So, like, Kerouac is like the Wolf of Wall Street. You know, this guy, he did all these crazy things. And he went through this. He did go through a change like a person does in a regular screenplay. The, the Wolf of Wall Street didn't start off being a selfish asshole who cheated people out of their money. He didn't start off like that. <clears throat> but he lived a crazy life and it was able to be adapted by, Mar um, I think, Martin Scorsese. Who loves true stories. Martin Scorsese seems to love true stories. And that's fine. I, I understand Martin Scorsese now. After he did the, the Native American movie. The Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, so this Kerouac. He, he lived his life. He lived a life. He went on, on a trip for three weeks. And then he wrote about it. Then Ginsburg. <sighs> Ginsburg wrote poetry. To make himself famous. Sorry. That's the. That's the. At a glance, that's what happened. Allen Ginsberg wrote poetry that was criticizing um, mainstream America and the American dream or whatever the hell. When, my thing about it is, I don't, okay, that's one thing. You criticize the 50s and the 60s. But for you to go to a grocery store and you to criticize the people at the grocery store, you know... If you really cared about people, you would sympathize with people being brainwashed instead of judging them. And that's what Allen Ginsberg did. He goes to the supermarket and he judges everybody there. And it's like, motherfucker, you're there too. That's like a this one bitch was in the this one bitch was at the dollar store and she's like, get me out of here. 
saying to the, the pe person at the register. And it's like, who the fuck are you? If you're too good to shop at the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree, keep your ass the fuck out of there. You're too good to be there. Who the fuck are you? You're not famous or anything. Not that you have to be famous to, but I'm just saying, if you're going to be arrogant and pompous, I mean, be somebody notable. Allen Ginsberg was arrogant from my estimation. And then goddamn Burroughs, he shot his wife in the head. Come on now. Who, who does that? You play William telling you shoot your wife in the head. And everybody's cool with it because your parents are rich. I'm a rich boy and I don't have, have to work. So I'm going to do a bunch of drugs and write a but another thing that's a stereotype for writers writers don't have to do drugs to be good writers actually that's not really what they're doing writers don't have to do drugs to be creative writers don't have to be alcoholics to be creative i was born creative i remember being a little kid at school and we were playing with the masters of the universe characters and i took a uh 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 one of those white cups and I broke it open, I shoved the character in, and I had them flying around like they're in a flying car or something. And the motherfucker was jealous of me for that. The kids start crying. My fucking, my fr friend Gus starts crying. And it's like, what are you fucking crying about? This motherfucker was jealous because I was more creative than him. I used to take cardboard boxes and draw on paper and put wallpaper on the cardboard boxes for my G.I. Joe characters to have hideouts and shit. I used to make stuff extra for my toys, you know, so you don't need drugs to be creative. That's just an excuse. Your asses are probably lazy or something. You don't need alcohol. You don't need drugs to be a good writer. There's only two types of writing. You got to be like Kerouac and you go out and do some crazy shit or you write about some characters that are interesting. You write characters that are superheroes or they're detectives or they're spies or they're firefighters. Firefighters need more movies and stories. Firefighters, um, cops, obviously, there's always stories about cops. So you write about a character who's interesting or you go live a life that's interesting. But you got to survive that life in order to write it, though. <laughs> you got to remember to survive that life in order to write it, though. So, so that's all I want to say right now.